Alright, we're back. This is the Firefall Beta. Denizens of the Interwebs. This is the motherfucking Firefall Beta. This is the way it should have been. This is after the new update. Yeah, you there. You die, Shock Trooper. I'm gonna machine gun your ass to fucking death. Oh yeah, <laughs> 21 hits in a row. Tell you, I love the way the new classes work. You get four abilities right out of the gate. Oh, pods. Here we go. You get four abilities right out of the gate. And they're interchangeable when you go to the next tier. Um, you can create a custom battle frame, essentially. And you don't have to level up all your shit just to get, like, a little new thing for you to use. You're actually a fully-fledged class right when you start the game. Let's destroy this big scary thing. Actually, looking at it, I think it's broken. Because I've done a few of these, and they usually have a little um, thing in the center for you to activate. So, we might just kill these folks. These kind gentlemen who are trying to snipe me. And be on our way. Well, let's just make sure nothing pops up. Maybe I can destroy the actual... Oh, fuck a juggernaut. Juggernauts are still overpowered. They do a lot of damage, and they have... It actually seems like they have even better aim now. They, they will fucking hit you with 100% accuracy if you're doing just a normal strafe or something. They'll fucking hit your ass. They have very, very good aim. I even had one hit me in mid-air just while I was rocketing. You know, I kept my arc the same. I didn't move side to side or trying to alter my blood to do anything. So with that continuous arc, they can still aimbot you. It's, uh, it's quite impressive the way that that works. But they're really dangerous. You know, all the other enemies are pretty easy to kill. But if you get three or four juggernauts at the same time, you're going to have problems. Alright, let's check the map to see where the mayhem continues next. You know, I think I want to discover stuff, so let's go down to uh, Broken Shores there. Now you can... it didn't show it this time, but it shows you a path when you make new waypoints or you receive a new little quest pop-up or something like that. It's got a pathing system that's very apparent. I don't know why it didn't show it that time, but I'm sure you'll see it in a few minutes. Right now, we're going to kick our ass over to uh, Broken Shores to uplink, link up with that send uplink thing so that we can see stuff on the map and all that. Now, first, let's help this guy out with his thumper. A notable new thing is that not only do thumpers usually, I don't know why this one didn't, but they usually show up on your map as quests so you can show up to them but you also get stuff for doing it kind of like you'd see in Guild Wars 2 in fact the new system is very much like Guild Wars 2 in a lot of ways you kind of run around in a continuous flow of events now you could have technically done that before already but it didn't feel like it it didn't feel like it flowed at all it really really improved all this stuff and I love that you can get resources for just showing up. You don't have to wait for them to invite you to the party if they're going to be so kind to do so. Now, some people still like to just do it by themselves. You know, this guy was over here by himself. He's probably going to tell me to go away because I'm killing all this stuff. You know, and if he requests that I go away, then I will. You know, it's, it's the reason people want you to go away is because it's actually more efficient to sit here and do it by yourself. They, I'm sure they'll fix that in the future. But, oh yeah, see, there he goes. Yeah, I'm all good here, thanks. So, we'll just uh, figure out something else to do. Let's see, I wonder if I should do that crashed thumper. Or maybe I should just continue on the broken shores. Oh, spawns. I'm not going to let the spawns run past me. I know he wants the kills, but that's just too fucking tempting. Yeah, let's try this crash dumper. Why not? Although I hate oil spill, I don't want him to talk to me. Shut the fuck up, oil spill. I can hear you already in my mind. Let's just grit our teeth and bear it. 
Oh God. Oh God, oh, dang! Shut the fuck up. God, I hate that guy. It's not that he's a bad voice actor or anything. It's actually good voice acting. It's just the damn character annoys me. I don't know. It does make it feel a little bit Starcrafty though, which is kind of nice. But he just. He's too loud for my tastes. He comes up all obnoxious and loud when I'm trying to walk through nature and shit and kill stuff. Uh, one thing I just noticed randomly is that they've changed the colors of the jump jets for no apparent reason. Yeah, these crash thumper th uh, quests are pretty much the same. It, although they seem easier to do, I don't know if that's because the classes are a little more powerful now or not. But it seems like you used to run out of time pretty damn quick on these. I think the time's probably extended by a little bit. But for the most part, this quest remains similar. This is not one of the so-called improved things. Now, I do have to wonder how oil spill crashes so many fucking thumpers. I mean, is this guy like the worst thumper deployer in history? Although his name is Oil Spill, so I'm assuming he may be prone to disaster. Buying drinks tonight? Well, I'll hold you to that. Oh no, damn it! I'm letting myself start to like him. No, we have to hate Oil Spill. Oil Spill is the demon devil NPC guy voice person from hell. Uh, well, now see, now all your little thumper spawns are coming to kill me. This is fair game now, buddy. Oh, plus you got another leecher over there. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Alright, let's figure out where we're going. Oh, yeah, we're going over to that uh, point that I marked. Okay, now let's let's check out. You can run through more water, it seems like. It seems like there's less deep water, but there's deep water right here. I want to see if it still kills you. So let's just... Yeah, okay. It's taking my health away. So, they didn't improve the waterproofing on the high-tech battle suits yet, which is weird. I mean, you'd think, if it's that high-tech, can't you just put some fucking gaskets in between all the seals and everything? Get a little silicone in there or something. I mean, what the fuck? How about putting the whole thing into a neoprene wrap? I mean, high-tech my ass. I don't know, maybe there's lore behind it that I'm missing here, but let's be honest. I'm not. They just didn't want you to swim. They didn't want to put swimming in the game. Maybe yet. Maybe they will later. I think they should if they want to be, like, trying to catch up with Guild Wars 2 or whatever. On a quick side note, I'm going to change my mouse sensitivity to a little bit lower. Because it seems to be moving a little quick. I like to have it pretty damn low. Because, uh... Although it does have its own set of problems, it enables you, when stuff is right in front of you, to follow it when it starts to move. It's kind of, it's much easier to do that. But if something like darts out from the side, it's going to be really hard for you to uh, do twitch shots on it. Not impossible, but it's a little harder than if you have a high sensitivity. I find that the benefit of the stuff that being in front of you easy to hit is far outweighing the potential missed twitch shot. Like, he just ran to the side of me right there. You know, I couldn't quite uh, insta-aim him like I could have with higher mouse sensitivity. But it's okay, because I backed up and it was all done. But I don't know, I'm not a shooter pro anymore. That was back when I was a kid. Fucking Quake 2. But let's not talk about that. We're talking about Firefall. And we're going to kill things on the way to our little discovery point. Because I love shooting stuff with my Dreadnought chain gun. I love it. The Dreadnought is actually a really good class now. Just the plain old Dreadnought. You get a big old AoE. You get extra armor. You get explosive rounds for your chain gun. And you get a retardedly powerful missile launcher for your special ability. Now, I wish I would have got footage of it, but last night, I was taking out 
massive hordes with this class. I mean, it was unbelievable the amount of power it has now compared to before. Like somebody popped one of those big thumpers and it was just me and him and then he died right off the bat. And there's just this massive horde of enemies attacking me and I killed them all. Fucking, they got shit on. I, I actually do expect the stock dreadnought to get a little bit of a nerf at some point. Unless people just suck at playing it, maybe I'm, maybe it's just more natural for me, I don't know. But I find it to be one of the more powerful classes now. One of the, uh, one of the used to be powerful classes, which is now not, which is worth mentioning, is the assault. The, the stock assault has been nerfed. You'll have to get an advanced assault if you want to do anything useful. And then the engineer, let's not get started. Let's just put it this way. The engineer I thought was overpowered before. Now they're way fucking overpowered. But they are somewhat situational. I mean, you do have to employ a little strategy. You can't really rambo with an engineer. If there's a big horde of guys, you can kind of go along the perimeter of them and set up your little camp and then start trying to snipe them so that they trickle in. But basically, with an engineer, you can take out an entire army by yourself right now. Very easily. And uh, I'm, I'm going to switch to the engineer in a bit just to show you some of that. Right now, we're going to continue on to Broken Shores. Get our goddamn point over here. Arclight base. Let's check it out. Doesn't appear to be any chosen action. Those unlucky chosen bastards. Those who have been chosen to be made into Swiss cheese by my machine gun. Oh yeah, here we go. This is how you do it. You just uplink with these things and it unlocks a couple more spots on the map that you can kind of monitor for events and whatnot. So-called points of interest. Alright, well that's all I really wanted to talk about right now of the game is I wanted to allow people the opportunity to realize that if you had played this game before and you didn't like it, it's much better now. And you should probably come check it out. Now, I will be making other videos about all kinds of different things about the game, all the little different features that make it good and whatnot, content, this and that. But now this is just a basic musing. And I'll leave you with a montage of some combat. Double V out.
Shotgun. Left, left. No, wait, wait. Back right. Right. Turret engaged. Turret engaged. <laughs> Signal, quick. Firmware upgraded. Just a little longer. Turret deployed. Turret engaged. Doom. <laughs> 